light silken curtain, colorless and soft, dreamlike before me floating. What abides behind thy pearly veils opaque, mysterious wolf where sleek red kine, and dappled, crunched a long thick, luscious blades and purple clover heads, nigh me I still can mark cool fields of beaded grass no more, for on the rim of the globed world he seem to stand and stare at nothingness but songs of unseen birds and tranquil roll of waves bring sweet assurance of continuous life beyond this silvery cloud, fantastic dreams of tissue subtler still than the wreathed fog, arise, and cheat my brain with airy vanishings and mystic glories of the world beyond a whole enchanted town thy baffling folds conceal an orient town, with slender steepled mosques, turret from turrets bringing, dome from dome, fretted with burning stones, and trellised with red gold through spacious streets, where running waters flow, sun screened by fruit trees and the broad-leaved balm, past the gay-decked bazaars, Walk turbaned, dark eyed men. Hark, you can hear the many murmuring tongues, while loud the merchants vaunt their gorgeous wares. The sultry air is spiced with fragrance of rich gums, and through the lattice high in yon dead wall, see where, unveiled, an arch, young, dimpled face, flushed like a musky peach, peers down upon the mart from her dark, ringleted and bird poised head she hath cast back the milk white silken veil midst the blank blackness there she blossoms like a rose back and she not with those bright full orbed eyes and open arms that like twin moonbeams gleam behold her smile on me with honeyed scarlet lips divine Shahrazad. i am thine i come i come hark from some far off mosque the shrill muezzin calls the hour of silent prayer and from the lattice he hath scared my love the lattice vanisheth itself the street, the mart, the orient town, only through still, soft hair that cry is yet prolonged. I wake to hear the distant foghorn peal, before mine eyes stands the white wall of mist, blending with vaporous skies. Elusive gossamer, impervious even to the mighty sun god's keen red shafts with what a jealous art thy secret thou dost guard well do I know deep in thine inmost folds, Within an opal hollow, there abides the Lady of the Mist, the Undine of the airy slender, winged, ethereal, lily form, dovied, with fair, free-floating, pearl-wreathed hair, in waving raiment swathed of changing, irised hues where her feet, rosy as a shell, have grazed the freshened grass, a richer emerald glows into each flower cup her cool dews she distills, she knows the tops of jagged mountain peaks. She knows the green soft hollows of their sides, and unafraid she floats o'er the vast circled seas she loves to bask within the moon's wan beams, lying, night long upon the moist, dark earth, and leave her seeded pearls with morning on the grass. Ah! That athwart these dim, grey outer courts of her fantastic palace I might pass, and reach the inmost shrine of her chaste solitude, and feel her cool and dewy fingers press my mortal fevered brow while in my heart she poured with tender love her healing lethe balm. See, the close curtain moves, the spell dissolves slowly it lifts, the dazzling sunshine streams upon a newborn world and laughing summer sees swift, snowy-breasted sandbirds twittering glance through crystal air. On the horizon's marge, like a huge purple wraith, the dusky fog retreats, 